From task and purpose uh, comes this. Uh, families at Edwards Air Force Base living in RVs for housing relief. Anybody ever been out to Edwards? I've been out there. Yeah, there's nothing out there. Nothing, right? Middle of no. So due to Edwards Air Force Base facing a, quote, decades-long chronic, end quote, housing shortage and sky-high rents around the remote desert basins in Southern California, some military families are cramming into RVs to make ends meet. This uh, they, Task and Purpose does this a lot, where they tell a story using an example. So this woman, Karen Petrie, whose husband is a senior chief in the Navy assigned to an F-35 test program at Edwards, spent nearly all of her first year at the base living in a camping style. This is not, not even an RV, a camping style trailer whose walls were so thin that they eventually had to buy three air conditioning wow. air conditioners because of the 115 oh, degree heat out there, right? What a wonderful recruitment. <laughs> I know. That's perfect. Makes me want to join again. They were in Texas, and right before they were they headed out to Edwards, the basis housing told them their wait time would be would not be two weeks. Instead, it could be up to twelve months from when you arrive for housing. Wow. In early 2021, they purchased a large fifth wheel RV trailer with a seventy thousand dollar loan. Uh, for the next 11 months, a family of four lived in the RV parked at the base's campground known as Fam Camp, included while, including while Karen was pregnant with the couple's third child. In April 2022, their name, so that was early 2021. In April 2022, their name finally reached the top of the wait list and a home on base came open. Almost immediately, they got messages from other families saying, can we rent your RV? Three years later, they're still renting the RV out to families that are months away from getting their own on-base housing. All right, so <laughs> this is why. Wait, Marty, RV yeah. with two and then three kids. Four and then five the, kids. And then the Mojave Desert? Like, yes. you're in the fucking California right. desert. <laughs> right. You You would think the base commander would look at this and go, hey, we got a problem. We and this might was, need to expand yeah. base housing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and this was a senior chief in the Navy. This was like some E4, E5. So according to base officials, Edwards has 741 homes on base, along with the 57-site FAM camp. The 2022 Air Force Housing Requirements and Market Analysis for the base found a shortfall of 119 single-family homes and 307 unaccompanied accommodations based on the total number of active duty members assigned. <laughs> wow. It just came it, out of the blue. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for what? words. 119 Three, single 307. family homes and 307 <clears throat> unaccompanied I mean, you could, accommodations. You could do what? Two dorms Yeah, would fix that. Yeah, yeah. Two dorm buildings would fix that 307. Probably, and then you yeah, maybe right, could... right, right. That says, or better real... yet, let's not overpopulate Edwards with people and taskings that require that many freaking housings. Move wow. people to other locations. That's way too strategic thinking there. Wow. Yeah. And you can't. Good yeah, luck yeah, finding yeah. off base stuff because you have skunk works there. You exactly have exactly right. You have engineers galore all over there looking for houses. The mm -hmm. article went not into even at Edwards, but other places too. They yeah. went into all the surrounding oh. towns. I'm not going to read that part, but they ran into the, all the surrounding towns and they're like, "Hey, this town, 30 minutes away, is building more accommodations, and this town, 40 minutes away, is building this." But just like you said, Teapot, you got an E4, E5. Who's competing with engineers at their salary level? Six figures. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How the hell are they going to get into housing, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Says the real threat to most service members at Edwards is California's housing market. Rental prices in the area average three thousand a month. Wow. Uh, which this realtor said is in due part to the limited options. BAH at Edwards, like all military bases, varies by rank. Junior enlisted members with families are paid a little over twenty three hundred a month to find off-base housing, while senior enlisted troops and young officers get closer, closer to 3,000. More experienced officers top out just about 3,500. 3, hmm. But the average is 3,000 <clears> to <throat> live in off-base. 
At one point, the price for a spot at Fam Camp was lowered to seven hundred and fifty a month during the pandemic. Now the price has shot up to nine hundred and fifty per month for a pad. That's what's annoying. That, that's just right? the pad. That's Not just the... The, well. I I don't know if hookups are included in that, but I think it's just the pad, right? They can't. They, they wouldn't do a base price for all all hookups included. Yeah. I, I can't. But you're that. on base. On right. base is yeah. not supposed to be making money. It's not a profitable place. That, remember You're we supposed talked to be about this, providing right? support for the troops. Remember when AFES was a good deal? Like shopping yes. at the commissary yep. really saved you money. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Same thing with these with these pads, man. That's that's I just this is not a new problem, right? How did no. it get this bad? Like this has had to yeah. be. Right. Decade, probably decades in the making, 10, 10, 20 years. It'd have to be. As soon as they up the manning, <laughs> right. right? Yep. And they don't address the housing. Well, there you go, you dummies. That's Bar why it's wanted- time to remove the military out of the state of California. Put them somewhere. <laughs> just pull them. Good Take luck with that money. Put the base somewhere else. I'm just saying. Well, okay, opinion, but, you but- know, I'm sure other places are the same. Uh, yeah. Not all places. You know, not all some- places. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, Edwards, Edwards, Edwards does grow. Yeah. You know, more so than any other base, probably. So when I was teaching, we would have to check on our all of our students and make sure they're <laughs> hey, you got transportation, you got housing, you got all this. One of my students was straight cross train over from Air Force um honor guard. And him and his wife had been living in fam camp at bowling green in wow. DC. Because they couldn't afford DC prices. Yeah, yeah. That was literally 06. 20 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And they, they had driven their RV all the way out to Vandenberg and were living in fan camp because they weren't, one, they didn't know where they were going to be officially. Sure. Smart. Um, it's smart. But he's like, it's, it's a smart deal. It's cheaper, significantly cheaper than apartments in DC. But- it's been going on that long, Teapot. Like you mentioned, it's not yeah. a new problem. It's been going on that long. Right. Plus, and we there's wonder a why we of... have a recruiting problem. <laughs> that Those recruiting problems are hidden. So people don't know that until they get in. They're like, Can that's you imagine a surprise taint punch. If your recruiter came in and said, oh, by the way, we're going to bring you on base. We're going to put you in this little RV about this big. You'll love it. You guys We're not going to put a... you in that RV. You have to fucking take a loan for that damn RV. That's right. That's... You have to have a truck to pull that RV. You Even have to more... pay a thousand dollars for water right. electric hookup pad. Yeah. And we're only going to give you two thousand dollars total for everything. That's nuts. I'd be like, hey, you wouldn't have to have a pop up by any chance, would you? Yeah. Can you imagine a pop up trailer in that weather? <laughs> Fuck no. Right. Like you right. cook. <clears throat> That's just crazy. Um, then there's this other story. They're not related, but they should be right. This is a story from stripes.com. Sailors can now live in RV parks full time. Thanks to a Navy policy change. So oh, air force is screwed, but the say the sailors can do it. All you gotta do is buy an RV, I suppose. Right. Active duty sailors and their families may now spend their entire tours at some Navy bases living in RV parks. Uh, Navy families enjoy Navy RV parks for recreation and leisure, but may also choose that option for up to a year, waiting for base housing to become available during a change of duty station. Uh, the new policy, which took effect March 8th, also permits active duty members and their RVs <laughs> and their families to stay in an RV park for the duration of their tours of duty based on space availability without having to request an extension. Previously, Navy MWR RV parks required visitors to renew the reservations every 30 days. The new policy permits them to extend another 180 days if space is available. After that, patrons may extend their existing reservation up to a year from their arrival date. So I, there I are guess no if, you, if you're, if you're in, positives. you're in, you could stay. No. But if you're, yep. and they're like, oh, we have no housing and we have no spots at the RV park. I mean, this is a small Fuck. thing, but all those retirees that are traveling around being like, oh, let's let's stay at the academy. Let's stay at yeah. in this naval base. Good point. They're all full that's with right. permanent party. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We were talking about going to Wyoming to Cheyenne, Cheyenne Frontier Days. 
Effie Warren's full. Of course. Uh, yeah. Permanent probably permanent probably full. Probably. Full. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. get in. The bunkhouse or whatever it's called now. The Wrangler oh, house. Or, yeah. No no room. So I was like, well, we're not going to do that. Well, and not to mention the fact that you got to get used to living in an RV. Yeah. God forbid you have a family, right? Yeah. But she that article about the Edwards one also, I guess she was pregnant. And they had to call the ambulance. The ambulance came out. Their roads were bad. Uh, but then the ambulance came out, and they're like, we can't find you because there's no real numbering system <laughs> you don't have an for address. all these pads. So they went out and put, like, reflective tape. And the next time they had to call, they're like, hey, we're the reflective tape ones. <laughs> so the ambulance could find them. And it's like, Unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Well, the article was talking about like the wind knocking out the power. The wind, right, right. And then, yeah, then good you point. lose all your food. It's just like he had a solar a panel, thank problem. God, or else his uh, refrigerator would have gone out. Yeah, yeah, right. Zero pros to this thing, man. <laughs> what What's yeah. good about it? I it's Nothing. good that they write the article, I suppose, because <sighs> obviously Congress and nobody reacts to anything until they see it in print. And they're like, oh shit. Let's yeah. get on that right away. That can't you be know? good. Oh, by the way, now there's cancer in their RV somehow, right? So <laughs> there's a medical issue living in an RV for longer than 100 days. You live days. by a septic tank too long. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I was waiting for our resident, like, cheer pot over there to throw out something good. He's not even positive tonight. I mean, yeah. this is awful yeah. because it's. It affects the east and the west coast, man. Like it's it's that's right. a problem. Yeah. yeah. Maybe these guys are like, okay, RV park's full. Let's go down to the beach. And they're like, nope, snowy plover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you know, I did try. Right. I on that road trip, I just tried to stay at Vandenberg Fan Camp. It was full. Oh yeah, yeah this totally real? makes sense. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, no way. 